One of the things uh, I couldn't decide on at first um, were the propellers. Uh, there's so many different kinds. Um, I wasn't sure exactly, uh, you know, what would work best. And as an example, I have here uh, just two kinds of propellers. I have uh, APCs, uh, 10 by uh, 3.8, and I have uh, these other ones which I got from Hobby King. These are uh, 10 by 4.5. Um, the cost, um, the APCs are about, uh, let's say, four times the price. So. Uh, the ones from Hobby King I got for, you know, they're all in a package. Um, four propellers, two right hand, two uh, left hand, clockwise and counterclockwise, um, for I think about three dollars or so. Where these ones were, the uh, clockwise were about three dollars and fifty cents Canadian, and the uh, the other ones, the pushers, so the were, were the opposites were about four dollars, so they're a little bit more. The pushers were a little bit more. Um, now, as quality, um, I notice a very big difference, as you, anyone would expect. So, these ones are a lot stiffer. They're very stiff. They're very tough. They're they're, they're a strong. Uh, they're a very strong propeller. Um, so, I would say if you have a, you know, a very heavy craft, something like that, that would work very well on on, on your craft. Uh, now, you have these other ones here, which are they seem very flimsy they're you know they're just very light they bent very easily and i could just see that in flight as well if your craft is heavier they might just start to uh to bend a little bit now surprisingly um i actually i i find these to be much better um just for that reason because they're more more flexible uh, at least at first as you're just setting up your quadcopter or helicopter or whatever, oh, sorry, a, a quadcopter or tricopter or whatever you're setting up, um, I found that these, I've crashed with these and hit fences and the ground and pavement and all they did is just basically you can see that they just whitened a little bit on the, where it bent so that would weaken the prop but it took a lot just to actually break that. Whereas these ones here, um, I was just uh, changing some of the uh, the settings on the APM, and it just flipped over, hit the ground once, and it just broke immediately, right off. Um, so for testing purposes, um, personally, I I prefer these uh, at least until you get your uh, your machine up and running, and uh, then you can just start uh, you know upgrading all the all the things that you like. Uh, you might have to go back into the settings and change some of the things but uh, one of the other things I noticed too even though the props are different uh, so they're different screw size so the this one is a 4.5 and uh, the APM is a 3.8 they actually look almost identical uh, if you were to just compare two I really found no uh, no difference between them they're basically they look identical except for the fact that these ones are, are a little bit more flexible but for testing purposes I prefer these um, they just took a lot of abuse a lot of abuse I can I can say that they are a very tough problem they also come with these adapters so the APCs uh, just have this adapter. Um, they come with another smaller one, which I've already installed. That's already on there. Where these other ones, they come with a variety. So you can use them on many different uh, motors with different shafts.